Hello, Sea Changer. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Sea Change Cinema. I'm really glad I remembered my name there because I had completely forgotten what I'd named the business earlier on today, which made me look like a bit of a knob. Um, so, hooray, Sea Change, creative content is the name of my business. I'm Abby C. Thank you for tuning in. Um, this week I wanted to talk about a theme that's popped up a few times with my clients and actually just speaking to my pals, I've got loads of pals that run their own businesses and they are experiencing the same thing. Um, I don't know if there's something in the stars that are making us all feel this way. If there's any spiritual people watching this, please let me know because I love knowing about this kind of stuff. Um, you know, greater forces and powers than us making us behave and think and feel in a different way. I love it. So please let me know. This week, I have had so many conversations about being yourself, stepping into your true, authentic self when it comes to your business. Um, I have experienced problems with this myself because, you know, we all want to present this version of ourselves that's going to attract loads of people. They're going to look at us or hear us or read our stuff and think, she knows what she's talking about. Here is my wallet. Please do what you want with it. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not quite as vulgar as that. But we do want to attract people to us. So we want to be polished. We want to look good. We want our hair to look slightly different from this home cut fringe. We want to pass on our professionalism and our personality the positive way so that people will you know connect to us and want to work with us or buy from us this is the number one problem when it comes to trying to sell yourself online because we all get so wrapped up myself included please always know that I am speaking from lived experience on these cinema episodes um we spend so much time trying to find the right way the right words to promote ourselves, to say all the good things, to, to keep it light and informative and maybe a bit of fun, put a little bit of our personality in there, but still somehow it all has to be this magic formula that makes people go, yes, please, buy now. <clears throat> now, that's an awful lot to try and pull together in a blog post or a Facebook post or a live, whatever it is that is your medium if you have a medium. Um, so I am giving you permission to stop trying to find the secret formula. It doesn't actually exist. The secret formula is finding a way to be yourself, to be the person that you truly are, this side of the camera, this side of the keyboard, this side of the mobile phone, because people will come to you because whatever it is that you're saying is what they want to hear in the voice that you have. You're signed up to my mailing list, aren't you? I am just explaining to you that this is how it works. I have had people commenting that it's so nice to hear this stuff um, in a Scottish accent. I've had people saying it's so nice to, you know, see that you don't actually have all your shit together, but you still are able to help me pull together a sales funnel. I've had people talking to me about how I don't dim down my accent or my personality and I just speak from the heart. Sometimes it's going to be bang on point, other times it might be a bit waffly. It's up to you to decide what today's episode is all about. Um, so I'm giving you permission to be yourself. If you hate selling, and you have been trying to find this magic formula which has held you back from selling, let's talk about that. Let's figure out how we can stop trying to be, you know, someone that you're comparing yourself with and how you can be you. What key things do you have at your fingertips that you can share with your audience that they want to know about you? I'm not talking about all of your personal dirty laundry getting aired. I'm talking about you explaining to people why you do what you do, what it is you love about your business, what your products, what your services do that will change someone's life or make their life a better place or maybe just make them feel good about themselves. Um, selling authentically is an important thing to do. You're going to attract so many more people that way. 
Uh, if you need some help with it, please let me know. I would love to share some insight with you. In fact, I have redone my um, initial how to sell when you hate selling guide. I have added loads more content in there. I'm going to email it to my mailing list. If you would like to get hold of that, I'm going to put the links wherever you get your links around this video. And please download it, read it. You'll learn so much more about being yourself and how to get out of the horrible bumps and challenges that we've got when we try to sell, when we try to sell ourselves and when we're trying to be something that we're not because nobody wants to hear that, okay? So that's my little mini lecture for today. Um, as you know, I like to share a little bit about my own business development every week so that you can see and share in what it is that goes on behind the scenes at Sea Change so that you can know that you know you're not alone in your own challenges and your own bumps and your own scrapes and whatever else you want to to call it this um crazy journey that we've bizarrely put ourselves on um and so for me this week the main the main issues I've had have been around time I have never been good at blocking out time and making it actually productive. I'm such a nightmare procrastinator. Um, I will put off a job until the last minute. Um, I mean, I always do a good job and I always get it, things in on a deadline, but I'm talking about stuff for building my business. I put it off until the last minute and it's just, it makes me really frustrated at myself because I know I can do it. I know I can schedule my time. I know I can be more productive. I know that I should be able to have some breaks, to have a starting time and a cut off time. Do I pay attention to any of that stuff? No, I don't because I think if you know anything about me by now, I don't like being told what to do even by myself. So, I've made a bit of a commitment and a promise to myself that next week I am going to schedule every day. I'm going to do a morning and an afternoon. I'm going to agree a cutoff point every day and I'm going to take some breaks. Would you like to join me in that challenge? How, how do you negotiate time? Can you bend it? Can you tell me what the secret power is to make more time than we've got? Um, if there's any insight around that that you'd like to share with me, please share it with me because half the time I am running around, I have no idea what day or time it is. All I know is that I've frittered it away once again. So it would be ideal if you've got some tricks up your sleeve for managing your time better and being more productive in the time that you have. Please, please, please share them with me. Okay, so that's it for another episode of Sea Change Cinema. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have you got any topics that you would like me to cover for future episodes? There's loads, there's loads that people want to know. And I know that you've got a couple of blocks and a couple of challenges to getting over so that you can sell yourself better online, make more money, grow your audience, whatever your goals are. So please ask away. I'd love to share any insight I've got. And if I don't have the insight, I know someone that does, so I will ask them, okay? We are going to have some future guests coming up over the next few weeks, I'm going to say. So if there's anyone that you would particularly like me to um, force into having a conversation with, please let me know. This is so exciting. I love the cinema and I hope you do too. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Bye-bye.